The moon. Things are not always as they appear. The moon. And like I said, under this full moon in Virgo. She's not um coming off like the Knight of Swords. Like she usually come out as the Knight of Swords in the in the readings. But she's coming out as the Queen of Cups. Because under this full moon in Virgo, this energy will urge you to be more kind and less critical. Like I said, she already a water sign. But she's not coming off to him as the Knight of Swords. She's showing up as the Queen of Cups. But it's some moon energy with that. Let me see. Let me see what this moon energy is. Because she's clarified the moon. That clarified the Nine of Wands. Yeah. A stubborn, aggressive person. Yeah, the moon. Clarify the second moon. The karmic is a stubborn and aggressive. Because, like I said, under this full moon in Virgo, it talks about being less critical. So it's like the energy of the full moon is like arresting her energy. She can't even be this stubborn and aggressive person because secretly that's what she is. Very stubborn and very aggressive. I just said... She's not coming out as the Knight of Swords like she usually do. It came out like this. Your Divine Masculine. Nine Wands. Against this Karmic Moon energy. And the Moon is... She's really stubborn and aggressive. That's the secret. Things are not always as they appear. And your divine masculine knows she's stubborn and aggressive. So I think they bump into, into each other unexpectedly out somewhere. But because it is under this Virgo, the full moon is in Virgo. It's like the energy her arrested her ram energy. So she came off to this divine masculine like the queen of cups. But it's still the moon. It's still the moon. So, the month of June came out. So, if this karmic is pregnant, she could probably be due in June. She could be pregnant. And she probably due in June. But the moon is still here. So, that probably not that's probably not even his baby. And um, that's what was going on in the last read and I did for the karmic. I think it was the karmic reading or the divine masculine, the royal T. Yeah, but one of the readings I did a couple of days ago, the baby was not the divine masculine. And I think that's another reason why she not acting up. Because she knows she lying. She knows she lying. The karmic probably pregnant. And the moon energy is the month of June. That baby not his. She probably do in June. And that baby is not the divine masculine. So she not going to come off as this ram. Because she's carrying a baby that's not his. But she's telling him that it's his baby. Or she's lying altogether about a pregnancy. But it's moon energy with this Queen of Cups energy. It's moon secrets, disappointment with this pregnancy. So that's what's going on. Let me pull an oracle. This is video two for the um, full moon in Virgo. And I, did, I wasn't expecting for the karmic to come out in this reading, but she did. What's going on with the Queen of Cups and the Moon energy? What's going on? Give me an oracle for the Queen of Cups and the Moon energy. Vibrations. This is my card for um, manipulation. Vibrations, like spell work. In this oracle deck, um, this is my card for that. Vibrations. It's like projecting like it's still like the knight of swords energy it's like she's vibrating she's projecting her energy off to your divine masculine or she's trying to but your divine masculine nine wands so she's she's still being the, the knight of swords but she low-key doing it so like i said she's the knight of swords because divine feminine i got a feeling today she was traveling probably spying on where you live at or where you work at 
And unbeknownst to you, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine caught her. She He caught her. So she is being a Knight of Swords because she was traveling near you. But he caught her. And when your Divine Masculine seen her, she got into this Queen of Cups energy. That's what's going on. Clarify, because it's like, this your Divine Masculine and this Knight of Wands. And you are here, Divine Feminine, because you're divine, your Divine Masculine. You in this energy because of him. That's like you being chosen, and you ain't said nothing. Like I said, they run into each other near your property, near your house. They run into each other, and you don't, you, you don't know it, Divine Feminine. If your Divine Masculine or that karmic don't tell you, Besides you listening to this reading, you're not going to probably never know. But that karmic know when she seen your divine masculine, she knew that he chose you. You have arrived. Out trick or treating. So, it's like your divine masculine, it's like when she see your divine masculine, she see you. Because it's like your divine masculine dare, daring her to get out of pocket. You want to trick or you want to treat? That's what I'm getting. When they seen each other, that was the energy. What you want to do. So, like I said, he know her to be like this. But because she she peeped his car, she came off like this. She had to. So, that's what's going on. Um, give me an oracle for the Nine of Wands. Um, in this moon energy. The Nine of Wands in the moon. See? Yep. Free will came out. She's going to have to let your divine masculine go. Because she's holding on too tightly. So like I said, when she's stalking your property, looking for your divine masculine around your home or your place of work, divine feminine. And she un unexpectedly ran into your divine masculine. She realized that your divine masculine got his own free will. He can be at your house if he want to. He can be parked outside if he want to. Because they're no longer together. They ain't together. He don't want them. And if he is with her, this card let me know your divine masculine is being a player. So even if he is with that karmic, he's still playing her. Either way around it. But you the divine feminine. She not. She the karmic. But this is free will. This is your divine masculine that, and that karmic. No, he can do what he want to do. Free will. He nine wands. He defensive against her control. Trying to treat him like he's still this younger man. Treating him like she the mother. She was trying to treat him like he's still this younger man. And your divine masculine, nine wands. Fortitude against that drama. Yeah. Free will. Your divine masculine know he, he can do what he want to do. Mm-hmm. So, that's what I have for... Um, for Full moon in Virgo today. Um, and like I said, this can resonate um, today and tomorrow. Because I was getting strongly the 28th. And like I said, I don't know if it's for me personally or collective for you too. So this energy and this, you know, it can manifest and spill over. This moon energy can spill over until tomorrow. So this is Blood Quintero. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, collective.